What is up y'all? It's the homie Koru back with another video. In the last video, I was pretty proud of it and pretty proud of my achievement too. I went from Iron to Gold and Valorant and I documented that whole journey and super interesting. You should check it out if you haven't already. Um, and the whole point of doing that, like I said in that video, was to manifest something that felt impossible for me to prove to myself that I could and especially something that I had to work at. If you want to manifest $10, $10 could show up on the ground, it could show up, you know, someone could give it to you because they're feeling nice, whatever. That's not too hard for to come by, right? Manifesting lots of money, well, that might be a little bit more of a process maybe, but that could still come to you somehow. But what about something you had to work at? And that video really covered my journey through what I needed to learn and it really was well suited for me for all of my previous history for my mentality of manifesting something that I had to actually work at as well and so that leads me into this video which is you cannot fail and I really truly believe that you cannot fail if you put your mind to something and if you set your sights on something so let's talk about it let's go over it um, when I started my journey with the Valorant goal, I went into a meditative state and I was looking for answers. I was looking for some type of direction. What? How do I go about this in order to complete this? And I was actually visited by an entity, call it a spirit guide, call it whatever. Uh, it could have been a lot of different things, but it visited me and it actually, I had this interaction with this being and among the other things that it said, it repeated to me continuously, you cannot fail, 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 you cannot fail. It didn't say it once, it kept going and it felt like it could have kept going forever and it just continued to impress upon me, you cannot fail. And I just kept thinking about that and there was a lot of times during my journey where it came back to that interaction of you cannot fail i continued to try to digest the implications of that sort of mentality that sentiment that instruction you cannot fail and it's true and the, and what i learned during my journey was that the only way that i could have failed or that I did fail temporarily was giving up on the goal. And so I think the process of manifesting your vision would be number one, to be specific. What exactly do you want? What exactly are you working towards? I would keep it as specific as you can get because imagine if you were going to an artist and you said, hey, draw me a painting, right? Whatever. And they were like, OK, what do you want? And they're like, surprise me. Well, cool. You might find that to be awesome. A lot of ways that could be awesome. But let's say you um, actually were expecting a painting and they said, you know what? I got really creative. And I made you a sculpture. You'd be like, wait, maybe that, I didn't want that. What if you what if you did have something kind of in mind and then they come out with something completely different colors, completely different style of drawing you know if you if you had any expectation at all you'd probably be disappointed because they went and did their thing and give it back and it's not what you had in mind and what would be better would be to say I need exactly this and then of course the artist is going to put their own spin on it and depending on what you might work out with them they they would create that vision in a specific style and their specific style perhaps but the more direction that you give them then the better the outcome would be for what you have in mind and uh, as an artist i understand that not every artist wants to just work on commission for <laughs> creating other people's visions but um you have to be exact with what you want do you want to reach a certain rank in a video game do you want to reach a certain amount of money a month that you make do you want to have a uh, a partner do you want to have a wife a husband and do you what do you want that to be like do you want to live in an apartment together do you want to live on the road together do you want to to live in a house together do you want to be you know you have to start to get specific about the types of things that you want to manifest and the more specific you can get the better 
it will be for you because if you ask for something indeterminately, then the universe might give you something and say, well, it was this. What, what else did you want? Because you asked for this loose thing and I gave it to you. And then you can, from there, though, that leads into the second point, which is all feedback is good feedback. And what I mean by that is that um, if you get some feedback along the journey that is not exactly what you wanted or that you thought, it's okay to take that and even say, that is close and that's not what I want because this is exactly what I want over here. And you have to keep your sights on exactly what you want because you could say that's like settling and that, you know, that is, but you have to have exactly what you want in mind. And when you get something that's close or something that's specifically not what you want, do not get discouraged. Do not keep your uh, do not take your eyes off of the final vision that you have. And the reason is because if you're used to saying it being upset, let's say you're used to pouring emotion into accepting something that isn't what your vision is, because that's actually what you're doing. You're saying this isn't what I had in mind, but you're actually accepting it and then you feel angry, sad, disappointed that that's not what you had in mind. When the reality is you don't have to accept that. The, there is a good chance that the uh, universe is trying to manifest what you want and it needs to get closer and closer to that exact vision. But if you don't have that exact vision and calmly, optimistically, positively, um, you know, turn down everything that isn't that exact vision, then you'll start accepting things that aren't in your vision. You know, if you if you give it a day and then something comes up that's like remotely close to your vision and you say, oh, that's it. That's the best I'll do. It's like, cool. The universe had light work. That's it. That's that's what you're going to accept. That's great. Um, don't accept what isn't your vision. You need to keep the vision in your mind and keep focused on it. And um not the whole time, there's another part of letting it go, but at the same time, when you're working towards something, you do need to keep that vision in your mind. So uh, there's a thin line, everything is and isn't at the same time. Um, but moreover, another great thing to keep in mind is that you don't know the time that your vision is going to take to manifest. And this is a tricky subject and there are opinions out there that say that you should put a time limit on what you need to manifest. And I personally do not think that you should do a time limit. Um, I think that just like anything, if you, ru if you try to rush the process, it's not that it's not possible or it's not capable, but I like to look at nature and reflect on nature for all of my um, for everything. I look to nature for the answers because we're here and we're living in nature. And what happens in nature is if you have, uh, let's say, you know, something small like a dandelion or, a, you know, a pansy, some type of flower that's going to come up in the ground. First of all, it's seasonal, so you can't grow it in the winter. So if you grow it in the winter and you're like, come on, grow, I need you to grow in the next month. It's like, yeah, you're outside and it's like zero degrees. That pansy's not going to come out of the freaking ground, dude. You are you need to be in the right environment and you need to have, you know, the correct sort of situation in order for that seed that you've planted to actually grow and thrive. And the other thing is that it's not going to take that long when it does come up, right? But if you're trying to grow a redwood, if you have a redwood seed and you're trying to grow a redwood that's as tall as all of the redwoods in California and you expect that to grow in a day, you expect that to grow that tall in a month? You expect it to grow that tall in a year? You don't know how long it's gonna take for that exact tree to grow. And if you try to force that tree to grow, it's not gonna grow the way that you want it to grow because that's not how nature works. And so when you have a vision in your mind that you keep working towards, if you create a specific timeline, there's a good chance that it's not gonna manifest within that timeline. And then again, you're gonna be disappointed that the feedback that the universe gave you wasn't in line with what you had in mind. And so the idea is that as far as timing is concerned, there's a good chance you don't know the exact time because that's like the verse in the Bible where it says, no one knows the appointed time, my father knows the appointed time. And 
he's talking about the return of Jesus, but you know, that's kind of where that verse actually comes from is no one knows what time it's going to take to manifest a specific goal. But if you can understand and let the universe do its thing and, and prepare in the background, what you have working, then you'll be overjoyed and, and, um, super accepting and happy when it does manifest. And so trying to put a time limit on things is something that I wouldn't recommend if you have success with it. And if that's something that you do, let me know in the comments. I'd love to explore that more. Um, it doesn't seem to work for me. I think I've found most successfully to let the universe do what it needs to do and keep, keep the vision in my mind and keep manifesting, um, have it manifesting in the background. And that's the other thing is to, um, there's a fine line between, so when you, when you charge the vision to manifest something, you need to focus on the vision, but you also need to let it go. And so there is a very fine dance and a very fine line between letting something go and to keep focusing on that vision because the, your subconscious and the universe, the collective unconscious needs to work in the background. And so if you continue to keep bugging, bugging the manifestation process and digging up the seed and seeing if it's sprouted yet and seeing how close it is, you're just going to ruin the process more than if you just be patient and let it do its thing. So in a certain way, you need to find a way to become relaxed and know that it's happening. And I would say that that's kind of the best balance to take is that if you can find a relaxed state and every time you think about it, know that you have that very distinct, very graphic, very sensual, very emotional vision of what to manifest, you know that you have that and you know how specific it is and how wonderful it is. But you also know that every time that that comes back into your mind and that you're thinking about it, you're not thinking about it from a place of lack. You're not thinking about it from a place of want. You're not thinking about it from a place of not having it yet or curiosity or, or dismay about it not being here right now. You have to learn to enjoy the journey and the journey is the destination. The journey is the process and you have to have faith. That's what true faith is. Faith is knowing that the process of going along with the journey is that it will manifest. You have to relax and let it do its thing. You know, you can't keep digging up the seed every 10 minutes and being frustrated that it hasn't started growing from five minutes ago when you planted it. Um, so I would say you cannot fail. Keep the vision in your mind, be specific, and let the universe do its thing. Sometimes you have to put in some work, sometimes you have to put in some energy and some effort, and sometimes you'll get ideas, you'll get inspirations, you'll get things that will push you in the right direction, and that's all part of the process. And you have to be in tune with that, and um, meditation, clearing your mind, being relaxed, finding your flow, or all of these types of things that are gonna help you get into that state where you can find that flow and that soft, quiet voice, which is going to help direct you to the next thing that's going to be the chain of events that's gonna help to manifest your vision. Um, but you have to relax and you have to let it happen. And um, especially referencing the Valorant journey that I had, I wonder if I, for personally, I didn't have a lot of faith. I didn't know. I didn't understand that it was like, it was a big journey for me to prove to myself that I really can manifest anything I put my mind to. And the amount of times I was frustrated and mad and upset that it wasn't there right then and there. I didn't understand that it was going to happen. I just didn't have the faith to understand that my timeline wasn't the universe's timeline. My timeline didn't look the same as the universe's timeline. And I lacked the faith and understanding that the process was going to work. The process and the journey were the whole point of the entire thing. And that the manifestation at the end, and that's like, if you watch that video at the end, I was, I felt a little lost because once it was there, it was like, okay, what next? I don't even know what to do next. I don't even know now that it's here, you know, it, and that's one of the funny things about manifestation is sometimes once you get it, you're like, wait, what now? <laughs> because once you get it, it feels normal. Once you get it, it feels like, wait, maybe you're excited. Maybe you're happy. Maybe you're like, oh, I proved it to myself again. The, the amount of times I've proved something to myself with manifestation again and again. And every time it's exciting. It's like, oh, it happened. And then it's like, I'm still here. What's, what's next? And I think that would be a, the biggest takeaway on top of everything would be find your center, find the present moment, find the gratitude, the faith and the understanding in the present moment. And that will 
that understanding and that joy of the journey itself, living and breathing every day. And the more you can bring all of that into the present moment, the, the more flow and the more ease and the more happiness and the more joy that you'll find with the process. Um, so I think that's it. That's kind of a ranty video. That's all I had to say though, is, uh, persistence is key. You know, you cannot fail. It will happen. It will manifest. Get a vision in your mind. Be specific about your vision. Have the faith that it will manifest in the time that it is necessary for it manifest. Everything happens in the right time. And that's all that I have for you today. I believe in you. I believe in your journey. And I'm, I'm here on my journey too. We're all here together. I appreciate you. If you liked the video, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to like. Feel free to dislike if you hated it. Let me know in the comments. Love you guys. Peace, love, light. I'm out.